Oh, this looks ominous. Promisingly ominous. Prominous. Yes. Welcome back to Regrowth. To celebrate getting our metallurgic infuser, I decided to venture out and check another one of these mysterious maps. Because it also turns out that there are quests for them. So, a second map sent me to these coordinates here, which according to the map... Oh, it should say... Yes, it is the Abyssal Mausoleum, according to the quest book. Well, it looks kind of abyssal. It's made out of all this abyssal stone and grimstone. Ooh. I like the look of Grimstone, but I don't like the particles it gives off. And my night vision is wearing off. So yes, we have some skeletals around. But I don't see them. Ow, ow, that was dumb. That was very dumb. Decorative flower pot. Hmm. Hello? I could have sworn... Well, we have ghost skeletons. That's that's a thing. That was very dumb again. So... Would you... These things are so freaking fast. Okay. Skeleton spawner. Okay. I guess that was a thing. A coffin. Very nice. I think this is supposed to be a bed that lets you sleep through the daytime. Let's try it. Coffin is not open. Yeah, oh, well, there are monsters nearby. Okay. X. There we go. Okay, let's... Now that we've cracked this thing open, let's take a look inside. Huh. A reward bag. Huh. The Eludicator. Sharpness for Educational 5. I think Educational gives you more... Huh. Okay. Okay. So, does this thing have a recipe? It's a Man of Steel blade. Okay. It's just a very fancy looking one. Huh. Well, this was a fun little journey. And the best thing of all is... I found out that the real purpose of those maps is there are only three of them, and they're bound to a certain set location. And it's the same location every time. But every time you get a map and you use it, it regenerates all the, all the stuff in this area. So those skeleton spawners, that coffin, the flames in these decorative pots... And the loot bag downstairs, they will all be regenerated. So I could potentially build up a couple of maps. Just like make a mob farm, farm up hundreds of them. And I could make some sort of convenient fast travel to these map spots. And I could try to see what is in those loot bags, if I can get anything good. And I know for a fact that one of the things I can get is a slimy sapling, and I would quite like some slime leaf so that I can make myself a crossbow. I'm getting a little bit tired of these throwing knives. They have served well, but they have served for too long. So, that was a fun little journey, but for tonight... We have some technology in store for us. Oh, yes. All right. Let's kick this thing on. The Metallurgic Infuser 
takes an item to infuse on this purple slot here, and you see it turned that one charcoal into ten carbon. We could get more out of each piece of coal, not charcoal, well charcoal works too, but we could get more out of each with a enrichment chamber, but we don't have that yet. So, we want to get some enriched iron. Let's see how many pieces it takes. It took one, two, three, three. But I don't think it's going to use all 30 of that carbon. And you see it makes a very pretty noise. Oh, nope, nope, it did in fact use all three of that carbon. So let's make this stack divisible by three and let's just plonk it all in there. Yes. Warm, warm, warm. So, now that we have enriched iron, let's see what we can use this for. We can use it for these control circuits that we need for freaking everything. We could upgrade it again in the infuser as an alternate path to making steel. This steel dust will just smelt into an ingot. And that's about it. It's kind of a specialist product. But yes, I believe that just with infusers alone, you could make steel. Let's see how well, all these recipes are going to... Yes. Where's iron? Where is iron? There it is. Yes, if we infused iron dust with, with uh, carbon, we would get wrought iron, which may be faster than the bloomery process, but of course... We have quite a ton of bloomeries, and they should be fairly simple to automate in the future, once we get a tree farm going. And, yeah, you see that just at this base level, this infuser is not very fast. That is because mechanism machines all will take upgrades. This one takes energy, muffling, which will turn down that sound, speed, which increases its speed to cost more energy, and energy... I think energy partially offsets the cost of speed upgrades, but on the other hand, I think it might also just increase the internal buffer of the machine. I think they got nerfed a while back. So, as you see right now, it is a bit of a slow process. Let's see what we would need for some speed upgrades. We would need these mana lenses, and we would need tons of cobalt, and we would need enriched iron. Okay, so that is a little bit out of our grasp, just for the moment. I mean, we have a source of cobalt, but I haven't really, yeah. So I think that what I will do instead is I will just build another metallurgic infuser, and I will have a couple of these running in parallel, because we're going to want one for each type of infusible material anyway. And I think there are four types of infusible material. There's recipes. Yes, there's biofuel, uh, carbon, uh, tin apparently, uh, well, bronze making, um, diamond, and this specialist obsidian, which is actually processed also with diamonds. We'll get into that later when it comes to making upgraded parts. But yes, I think coal, diamond, obsidian, and redstone are the only four we're really going to be interested in. Oh, that sounds like it's run through that almost stack. That made us a total of 21 enriched iron. So, you see that I am just going to have to babysit this machine, and I am going to have to build a whole ton of them. You know what? Let's, let's also make some of those alloys, those special alloys that you saw. I believe that should just be some redstone and some iron. Let's get more iron. There we are. We can just take those, take out the wrought iron, and I believe, yes, because I shorted it one coal. 
And these, I think, are going to be very similar. I think it should be... Really? Just one per? Oh, funny how that works out. Let's see if it uses all ten. Okay, so I could get a stack of Enriched Alloy from this. That's good. These Enriched Alloys are used in kind of a lot of the baseline of mechanism and advanced industry. Solar panels... Yeah, we're gonna need hundreds upon hundreds of these things. Really, I am just going to... Honestly, for, for these little base ones that are used in freaking everything, I might actually want to have a dedicated metallurgic infuser that's just constantly producing until there's a certain amount in my storage network once I have a storage network. How close are we to applied energistics? Let's see, ME controller. Yeah, that's, we can get Skystone. These engineering processes are think are made in a different way, but the Fluix, I just don't know what it requires to unlock the quest for Certus Quartz. Weird. I think I need more Mechanist points to unlock Certus Quartz, so we need to do some quest grinding to get there. Hmm. Yes. So, how about we make some of these? Yes. So we need some basic circuit boards. We need some osmium rolled plates. Uh-oh. Good thing I prepared for this. And by the way, I think that while you have unnatural hunger... Oh! Yeah, it just says your cannot be satisfied with normal food, which means that it's not ticking down the debuff. But you can, in fact, eat other things. So you won't starve to death if you are stuck without rotten flesh. That's good to know. And I shouldn't have eaten that magical food anyway, because it filled my satiation up to hell and high water. So, osmium plates. Osmium, osmium. Who has the osmium? You have the osmium, but I am out of osmium. Because I rolled it all up into the plates that I put in here. Yes. Need two per. So, how many of those things do I have? I have tons of those things. I thought ahead. There we go. Finally, we can get rid of the pink vision. There we are. Okay, so I think I should have everything I need. Yep. Oh. Wait, have I scanned all the things? Yes, I guess I have. Oh. oh, happy, 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 happy day. Finally have these things. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the configurator. Yes, it's just going to be one of those. So, two of those, some osmium, some steel plate. Have I taken out all the things from all these? I guess I have. But I do not... Ah, there's some steel plate. I think it was two per. We'll make two of those energy tablets. So we need four of those, four of those, four of those. I made a load of those. Three, four. And we are going to need for these things. 
And then we're just going to need two osmium plates. And that should do it. Yes. These energy tablets are just little batteries, and I believe that if you have any tools that require charge in your inventory... No, I, I, I guess it's not like one of those batteries that you shift right click on and it charges stuff that requires RF. I think you can use them to transport RF between devices, but I mean... I've Has, it, has anyone ever seriously done that with batteries? Anyway. What are we doing now? We're doing the configurator. So we need a lapis, we need two enriched alloy, and a stick. Yeah, there's the lapis. There's the enriched alloy. Do I have a stick? I do not have any sticks. I don't have any wood. That's a rarity. There we go, the configurator. And then we need two, four, six. We need three of those. There it is, charge pad, all one word. Okay, so we need two steel and that's it, really. It's up on this slot, doop doop, do doop, da doop. Okay, let's decide where we want to put this. It's not too terribly important. We will barely ever need it. I am out of... No, I am not. Open that up. Mm, charge pad, charge pad, charge pad. Here's a good enough place, I guess. Well, that would set a fundamental limit on how big I can make the lasers before I have to move stuff around. So let's not. Could put it right central ish. Here's an idea. Not a good idea. Let's put it over in this area, I guess, in the mechanism area. So you d d it's easy enough. And I think this thing should just snugly clasp over that. Yes. And if I hold the configurator in my hotbar and step on there, it lights up. Ooh. Whom, whom, whom. Ooh. Feels so tingly. Mmm. And now, I can just take these two control circuits, and I can take myself a couple units of steel. Oh. Oh. Oh, it feels good. Let's immediately upgrade these, these jokers. To upgrade pipes, you just take a tier of alloy and surround it with them. Yes. And these advanced are probably good enough for most purposes I'm using pipes for so far. I don't know. Let's try these things out. Mechanism pipes are lovely in many, 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 many ways. For one thing, they are so much less finicky. I can just dupe, dupe, and that is basically all I have to do. 
It will only pull when it needs to. When I tell it to pull. Yeah. See that? Even if I were to... Well, let's, let's prove me right. Let's fill this thing up. Come on, game. Come on, game. Yes. But yeah, see? When I load this thing up full of fire essence... Doop. And it just puts in however much it needs. We don't have to screw around with, like, looping it around for overfill. And it, and it doesn't need, like, a dedicated pump or an autarkic gate. You just need to set it to pull. That's all you need to do. Do. Oh my god, do you have any idea how nice that feels after dealing with buildcraft? Oh. Oh my god. So yeah. I'm just gonna spend a little while upgrading, I think. Because on top of all that, I think these buildcraft pipes are a little bit laggy, just circling items around forever. And I am... Oh, I am going to consider the infinite possibilities. Oh. Actually, that's just one thing first. I wonder if these things are compatible with facades or with microblocks covers. Let's try facades and let's get some... Those are facades. Uh, let's get some just microblocks covers. Okay. I imagine they wouldn't work well with facade because that's specifically a buildcraft thing, but yeah, with microblocks covers, look at that. They're actually designed to fit in with them. It doesn't stick out. Oh, so nice. <sighs> and, and I can make them for other things, too. The only... The only thing I really needed to wait on for moving liquids around was this configurator, because making these, uh, I think they're called mechanical pipes for liquids. Yeah, that's just a bucket. That's easy. All I needed was the configurator. Hmm, so nice. So nice. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. One thing you should note is that mechanism pipes have a certain extra feature. You see here that I'm just upgrading my water pipe here because I wanted to upgrade to 3 vats because I found out magnesium was my bottleneck. And this is not connecting because this pump has a redstone signal on it. This wooden engine leading into the pump, that is. Thankfully, that can be turned off just by right-clicking, redstone sensitivity off. And that does in fact mean that at all other times, you can turn mechanism pipes connections on and off with redstone. Very, very lovely. You know what? Let's build some enrichment chambers after all. These things are not that difficult. The only really thing, the only really big thing is this quartz chipset, which just cost nether quartz and a bunch of RF over on our laser table. Yes. You can see that I've made another in infuser and I've somewhat changed the layout of our power over here. One thing to note when you're using buildcraft power cables, try and avoid cross connections. It can sometimes get caught in loops. So I'm just going to place these enrichment chambers right on top of the infusers. And I guess later on I'll facade over these. And what these enrichment chambers do is, well, they, they do a bunch of things. But their main use is they will make the resources here for the infuser go farther. If I put a little bit of redstone into here, you see it has that subtle hummy noise. And it'll process for a little bit. And it will give us compressed redstone. We put that in, and remember, a normal redstone gives us just 10 points of infusion. This thing gives us eight, 80 points of infusion. Let me just even out the rest of it. 
So basically, it makes our redstone stretch eight times farther. And I am just going to connect this thing up in the side configuration here. And I'm going to tell it, I believe that this is like front, top, bottom, left, right, and back. So I'm going to tell it bottom output, auto eject on, and on the infuser, I'm going to say top is for the infusion. And I'm going to try putting some redstone in this enrichment chamber. And we'll see if it injects into the infuser. Well, okay. Yes, it did. So, now I have an easy source of infusion for redstone, and I'll use coal in this one. Okay, I have my third infuser tower set up. This one is full of diamonds. One of the primary uses of diamonds is, of course, upgrading these enriched alloys we made from redstone and iron to the next tier. Yes. And I believe that cost a bit more than 10 per, so that enrichment chamber up top is going to help. And just like before, we can take the item conduits, or the item logistical transporters, and we can upgrade them to elite. And these ones pump out a stack per second and move very, very quickly. So here's a fun little bit of automation. This logistical sorter here is something to make logistics pipes even more smart. It's relatively simple to construct. It's just one of these basic control circuits that we've built, a piston and some iron. And what it will do is it will allow us to control how the pipes behave and how they will sort items throughout each other. For example, let's set a new filter on this lovely, lovely UI. And we'll say item stack, and I will give it a sample of charcoal. So it's saying this filter is going to be for charcoal. And... If I just save that and I put charcoal in the chests, it will sort charcoal to all uncolored pipes. We'll talk about pipe coloring in a little bit. But it doesn't stop there. I can tell it to stop sorting when there is eight items in an inventory. But it will still only send a sack size as big as the pipe can go, and this pipe can send a stack at a time, so it'll just send a whole stack. Unless I hit this S key here, which tells it to send the size of the maximum that you are setting. And I think I have to hit min 1 just to avoid some buggy situations there. So if I save that, we have this filter here, and now what it will do is it will send eight charcoal at a time to each of the bloomeries. And you see that because it's in round robin, it alternates between them, but it would uh, do that anyway, just because, you know, uh, yeah. So, all these bloomeries just got fueled up. I'm not sure why it did that. Is it because there was... Oh, it must be filling them up the rest of the way eight at a time now, because I put more charcoal in. Yeah. So see, it'll, it'll sort them out eight at a time, and it'll evenly spread to the bloomeries, which is very, very nice. And now if I feed it iron, it sends eight iron to each bloomery, and it all starts cooking up. And then I just have some pipes on the back, drawing it out, sending it into... Why is that clicky clacking? Oh, it must be clicky clacking because it's sending out charcoal. Wait, why would it be sending out... No, it's sending out sand. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't understand my own creation. But yes, it's just sending it into a hopper on an open crate on the Infernal Blast Furnace. So we have semi-automatic steel. And you see, if I wanted to build a farm, 
well, I still need a source of charcoal. But if I just wanted to build an iron farm and a sand farm, combination iron and sand farm underground, and if I had a tree farm that was piping wood logs to the, uh, to the coke ovens, then I would have automatic charcoal coming in here, and it would all just have to come to this chest, and I would have fully automatic steel. And I would probably want to build a couple more infernal blast furnaces. Uh, by the way, these arcane bellows, which make it run a little bit faster, they're also relatively simple to build. They're just a little bit of leather, an air shard, some wood, and some iron, and some magic. Nothing difficult. Yes. Of course, now I'm probably going to want to build another bloomery tower just to make some wrought iron. Hmm. Anyway, between all that cutting out and stuff, I switched out all of my build craft, or all of my, yeah, I switched out all of the old janky pipes, and I made them nice new shiny mechanism pipes. I no longer have a billion items circling all around in all their pipes, they just... The machines get fed when they need it. They will never overflow. Oh, so nice. And I think the next step is going to be to start automating this entire beast. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be a big project. This is going to be huge. But you know what? Once it's done, it'll be so nice. I will have all the things. So, I think the first step is going to be, I'm going to have to dig out a huge space underneath this area for where I'm going to do processing and final sorting. And I'm going to have all the items, um, these are already preset for being golem uh, farm sized. So I'll just have all the items being piped down into the underground. And that is where they will decide whether they want to go straight to storage or whether they need more processing before they go to storage. And I need a big cavern for that. So I will get back to you in a minute. Actually, you know what? On reflection, I already have a good, I don't know, half an hour of footage. And... I don't want to start on a huge project like when I already have that amount for an episode already laid out. So let's do the other thing I kind of want to do and let's grind out some mechanist points real quick just to see if I can unlock the proper mechanism quests. So that's under what the world enables. Let's review what we need to do. We have our next tier of underwater transit. We have some combustion engines. I still need to finish the nether journey. We could build a liquid-fueled boiler firebox and immediately throw it out. <laughs> we could build some steel tank stuff, and there's some build craft stuff. So that's a bunch of little things we could do. Let's start with the combustion engine. What's that going to cost us? That is going to cost us just a bunch of iron. Yeah, real easy. Okay, and it is just like a wooden engine, just with iron. And with a piece of redstone. Yeah, combustion engines. These things are a way of producing RF that I think I skipped. I'm not sure how much they make. I think they might make like 80 RF per tick each. And they require fuel and or crude oil, but fuel goes farther. And they require water to keep them cool. So yeah, they're a little bit of trouble, and they don't produce a whole lot. Does give me four fluid tanks of oil, though, just in case I ever want to use some oil. So that's good. But yeah, I think these things are going straight into the void. Okay, next it would want me to make a fuel refinery, which would be used with those things. Okay, what does a refinery cost? 
Just a diamond pipe and some tanks. Okay, that's easy enough. Bunch of glass. Mm, just good old ominous pounding headache. I think that the ominous pounding headache might happen when, um, if, if you don't do anything warpy for long enough, like if you don't gain any more temporary, any more of any type of warp, then eventually warp effects stop happening. And I think that the effectless pounding headache might be an indicator of that, but don't quote me on that. That's just something that I've kind of noticed in my day-to-day -day life. And I might be... my brain might be lying to me. Okay, requires a bucket of fuel, of course. Well, that's easy. We can just, um... take that. And we'll just go downstairs and hook this thing up to power real quick. There we go. Let's give it a bucket of oil. Ugh, it needs to be piped out. Lame. Okay, mech pipe to the. Oh, I already have the configurator out. Pull. Pull. Okay, bucket of fuel. And that gives me some more lovely, lovely things. Okay. Next, it would want me to make the fermenter and the whole biogas line of things. I actually tried that out once. And you know what? It's a lot more trouble than just having a coal farm. Sadly. It's really cool. It, but it's really inefficient and it causes a lot of lag because you need like a huge field of potatoes and you need like uh, and it has all the fluids and the even uh, even okay let's make that liquid fuel boiler box okay Liquid fueled boiler box. Mm hmm. Well, those liquid pipes, I guess I can keep. Actually, um, build craft pipes, build craft fluid pipes, they do have some more use than, um, than the mechanism fluid ones because the filters on Buildcraft diamond pipes actually do work and you can use them to control where liquids flow. As far as I can tell, the, the filters on the emerald pipes don't seem to work very well, but the diamond ones, those work fine. And as far as I can tell, there is no way, period, to filter liquids on mechanism pipes. So yeah, that is something that Buildcraft can do that Mechanism cannot. Okay, next it wants to make some steel tanks. Easy enough. So, let's make some tank walls. And some tank gauges. I think I have some glass plates in here. These recipes are all the same as the iron plate ones, they just use steel plate instead. And did it want me to make a valve? Yes, it did. And I forget actually how to make a valve. It's a lever. Okay. <laughs> lever in the center. And then I think it was the four things on the side. Oops. And those, yeah. I believe, and don't quote me on this, I'm, but I just think this is true, that steel tanks are just like iron tanks, except they hold 10 times more per unit volume. 
So if uh, if we were to build this out of steel instead of iron, then instead of 6,300 buckets, it would hold 63,000 buckets. I think. Do not quote me on that. Do not build your expectations to it. So, was that enough mechanist points? Not yet. Okay. Well, let's try these Lazuli, Diazuli, and Enzuli. Okay. Now, I think that the way that these things work is you can set them so that when a, an item passes through them, they paint the item that color. And then whenever they pass through a diamond pipe, they, uh, they go down that color no matter the settings of the pipe. But I, I don't know. I've never played with these. Okay, what's this third one called? Daisuli. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't think it's the diamond pipes. I think it's these Daisuli pipes. But I don't know. Again, I have never played with these. I think it's kind of a specialist thing. And I think that these things basically do the things that the mechanist pipes do, but not as well. Or maybe better, but harder. Either way, I think these are going straight into the void. Okay. Still no. Very stubborn. Maybe... Uh, no, none of these are... Okay, well, let's make a fermenter and a biogas engine. I should put labels on these. I like the way that they spread around automatically. It's very pretty. <laughs> of course I've already scanned those. And of course I've scanned those. But I know for a fact I haven't scanned those. Ha ha, I win. I I win absolutely nothing. I I don't know why I am celebrating. Maybe I just wanted a reason to be happy, damn it. There, I win again. Why does it feel so hollow now? Okay, bio bi biogas engine. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Bit of red stone and some bronze. There we go. Yes. Mmm. Mechanist fight. Oh. Unlocks two quests elsewhere. Maybe this is the lock, and it's not a rep lock. We can but hope. Because this is being stubborn. Ah, yes, this fertilizer is useful in forestry uh, multi block farms. I think those cans all just ugh, don't care. But yes, so it wanted us to make a fermenter. No? Isn't that what it wanted? Enables. Still. It wants us to make a still. Really easy. That's just for those. F for those. Yeah. The still is kind of the last part of the ethanol line 
of energy production, which is the easiest way to power the liquid fuel firebox. Unless lava works, which I don't think it does. Mm. Okay, so that was a quest lock, and it was not a quest lock for enhances. I can't believe I have the freaking blood magic quests before I have the mechanism quests. Uh, Wait a minute. Quest lock. I was I was looking for a quest lock on uh the way the world grows. Was it no 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 not grows. Life of the world built from built from built from built from no, it wasn't the Certus lock. <sighs> boy, 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 boy. Okay. Well, you know, I think that is enough for today. So, that, that was a little bit of questing for you. Yeah. You can see that when I cut out quest grinding, you aren't really missing all that much. But still, it's maybe fun to do. So, next time, next time, oh, look at how it looms over me so ominously. Oh. Next time, you're doomed. Bye for now.